Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise, and today we're here, and I'm gonna be doing another cooking baking video. And today I'm gonna to be making the most trendy dish which I've seen. I went to Lakamba and I went to Liverpool. I went to Urban as well, and I've seen on all the stores I've seen, on all the food stores I've seen, also on TikTok and stuff. There are so many kanafe videos. So today, that is what we're gonna be making. Today we're gonna to be making kanafe, and I'm super excited because this is my first time making it. And usually, my, probably my first time also trying it. I don't really remember trying it, so I'm really excited to make this. I'm gonna take this to my friend's house as well, and they can have a little taste of this because I hope this turns out good. So I'll just show you guys the, all the ingredients that I have. I'm super duper excited. And there's so many people that are getting so many uh, views from this. Like I've seen people with millions of views from making or just looking at kanafe, eating kanafe. I'm really excited to make this. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. So let's show you guys all the ingredients I have. I have so many. This is probably the most big, one of the most biggest uh, baking dish that I've made. Very excited, okay. Um, so first I have vanilla acid. I have a big one and a small one. Let's take this off. I have a big one and a small one. We're just going to use a small one because we need only a little drop of it. So that's what we have. Um, and then we also have unsalted butter. I really recommend using unsalted butter. You don't really want that salty taste because we already have cream cheese. So you don't want too much salty. And then we also have 600 milliliters of milk for the type of dough from the inside. The mixture the attack. We also have three things of cream cheese, three containers of cream cheese. That is a lot of cream cheese, but that is how much we're going to be adding to our kanafe. And then we also have our icing sugar right here. There's two tablespoons of icing sugar. We have our caramel water. You can find this probably at any Asian supermarket, South Asian supermarket is probably there. I just usually just go to any South Asian supermarket to find this really easy to basically swap this is our second dish with the recently this time we're using united king for recently i think that's the brand i haven't really tried the recently from here yet last time we used almonds for recently i'm pretty cool and this time we're using this one okay and then we have our little decoration things we also have our pistachios right here these are already grinded or crushed and this is a must. You need to add this to your kanafe if you want to make it a normal kanafe. That's how you. That's essential. This one is a pistachio, and these ones are optional. I don't think I'm gonna be adding them personally, but you guys can add them if you guys like them. I think maybe I will add them, but like, I this is optional because this is not like one of the main uh, ingredients inside kanafe. So yeah. Next we have a lemon already. And uh, we're going to use this for our um, our syrup, our sugar syrup, to make it stop crystallizing because if it crystallizes, it can't be a normal syrup. And then we have our cold flour, two tablespoons right here. Okay. And then we have our sugar. So now let's get to baking. Alright, so now is our next step for our canafe uh, with our misli. So first what I got out is our... 120 grams of unsalted butter. We got it out inside the plate. I'm gonna use it for our vermicelli. This is one pack of vermicelli. We're gonna use two. Um, and this is our vermicelli. And this one packet is 150 grams. So basically, both of them will be 300 grams. So let's get this out. And also, guys, make sure that you guys wash your hands when you're doing this because we can't do this with a glove. So that's why you have to use your hands. So. This is what you have, you have to crush it up. Right. So that was our time to crush it up. Alright guys, so our easily is crushed. And now we're gonna probably add our butter into it. Look at how nicely it's crushed. This took not that long, so it's easy. You guys can just crush inside the packet and put it inside. I put it inside here and then I crushed it. Now for the next step is one of the main steps. We're gonna that first of all I've added two tablespoons of sugar and now we're gonna add our 600 milliliters of milk just right inside there. Alright. That is good. And now let's add our corn flour first. Let's just Okay. Alright, we still have a lot 
left over. Okay. Then we still need to add our sugar as well, icing sugar. Okay. I'm gonna mix it well. It's getting added. I think we still have some cool flour. Okay. Let's just add all of our cool flour left, so we're not wasting any. All right. And also, make sure you guys keep on mixing because we don't want any lumps from the corn flour or anything. I know corn flour makes a lot of lumps. And right now, you guys can see it's not on any flames or anything. Right now, we're just on my counter, my kitchen counter. Not on any flame. After later, we will, uh, to make it more thicker and more creamy, like actual cream, we're going to put it on low flame for a bit and then we're going to still be mixing it. So, yeah. Alright, so now we're on low flame right now. Right now, since this is an electric top, it's, uh, it's gonna still get warm. It takes a little while to get warm, so we're gonna let it get warm for a bit. And then, just keep on mixing it. Keep on mixing it, and then, yeah. Alright, so you guys can see that our mixture is now thick. Very, very creamy. It's like no more cream. Um, very, very thick. So, I'm really bad at mixing with my left hand. So we're gonna keep on mixing, but whilst we're mixing, we're gonna also add our vanilla essence right into there and mix it really really good so we're gonna mix it really, really all right good. so now we're gonna add our cream cheese so this is 250 grams and now this is according to our 600 uh milliliters of milk and we have 600 milliliters i'm pretty sure that we used and now we're just gonna use 250 grams of cream cheese one container i know we have three cream cheeses Realize what that is way too much. You could use that another day, but for this one, we're gonna use all of this one of container. Is that how much we're gonna be using? So that's yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna be mixing it. Just gonna kind of crush it up. All right, so our texture is now very, very creamy. I'll show you guys a little example. Look at that, it is so thick. Usually when it's liquid, it just quickly falls off. This one, it's hard, it's creamy, it's very, very beautiful. Looks super duper nice. Make sure there's no lumps. Looks so nice. I wish I could taste this, it looks so nice. All right, so we've added a bit of water. We've added about like 200 milliliters water. And now we're adding half cup sugar. And also with that, let's start mixing it. And also, just make sure you guys mix it really good. The next step we're going to be adding the lemon because whilst you're mixing this, it could really turn into really crystally, and we don't want that. You could use that to make some type of other desserts like tangulu or something else. But this one, we made it crystally, so we don't want it crystally. So, keep on mixing. Alright, so now we're going to add our lemon in. We're only gonna add a few drops inside, not that many, just a few. Oops. I think that is good. That, that's enough drops. And now the lemon stops the mixture from being crystallized. That's why we're adding it. And this is our syrup on top of our canal. Now we're adding our caramel water inside one tablespoon. Right now, let's add our caramel water inside our mixture. And we're still gonna mix this. And by the way, we added this while it was off the flame. So it's off flame, still adding it. Still mix it and leave it for a bit and then we're gonna make our vermicelli mixture. Now we're gonna do our vermicelli mixture and make it a little parapet. So first, we're gonna melt, we already melted our butter for one minute. Melt your butter, add it to your thing. It's added. And now we're gonna turn, now we're gonna put the vermicelli inside. Just wait for a bit, kind of mix it around. Now we're gonna add our vermicelli inside. Mm. 
By the way, we're using a bigger plate, or a bigger pan. Make it really big and just make it flat as well. We're gonna make it flat. You guys don't need like a like a thing, a crusher or anything or something to make it flat. You can just use a glass or anything that's like at your home that yeah, is available to make this flat so we can have a good layer. Alright, so potato flies are actually supposed to um, mix this inside of the pan. And look at the color. We didn't even add any color to this. I know a lot of people add color to their vermicelli to get it that nice canafe color of vermicelli. We're going to take off our canafe off the flame. And now we're going to add it to our dish. And this one is already greased as well. And now we're going to take the mixture. Alright guys, so now we're going to add in our cream mixture that we made. Alright, so now with our vermicelli, I've already nicely pressed it. Uh, you could use a presser, I use like a cup as well. So anything that works for you at your house, flat surface, you could use something like this to press it down with your hands or something. Anything just to press it down easily to make a good layer. And now we're going to add our cream mixture. Look at how rich the cream mixture looks. Looks so nice. So now we're just going to add this nicely on the top. And then we're gonna mix this, we're gonna not mix this, we're gonna make it flat. Alright, so now we're gonna add the rest of our vermicelli mixture. So let's just keep it out. We're gonna add this on top and then we're gonna decorate it with our pistachios and our almonds. Alright guys, so now we've uh, put the other layer of our vermicelli on top so this is how it looks like so far and this is a type of a kanafe dish i know kanafe usually has a cheese bowl this is kind of a dish but different style as well so you guys can uh, kind of customize this by adding our pistachios to the side in like a circle these are basically crushed in the tortilla as well. and then we're going to add our sugar syrup sweet syrup whatever you want to call it guys so now basically added all of our pistachios, not wasting any, and press them up to the sides, okay, down, I don't think we're going to add the almonds right now, but we're going to add our sugar syrup, so let's get it, and we'll add it lightly, alright, so now let's add our sugar syrup, we're just adding it inside from this measuring cup, so this could be added nicely. Add, and we're going to add some to the rim as well. Alright guys, so now we're going to add just a little bit of pistachios in the middle as well. Like a little teeny dot. Just a little bit. Because I just want to do a bit for the garden chick as well. And that completes our today's um, making video. Making video. Cooking. And this is how our kanafe looks like. It looks so, so yummy. I really want to try it and we still have about two more hours until we break our fast and so i'm going to end today's video here make sure you guys like subscribe press the bell notification to get notified whenever i post a new video that's the end of today's vlog i love you guys so much bye guys so this is the final reveal of the kanafe and i when i tell you everyone loved it they all did this was so good i loved the feeling as well a lot of people told me how this was a good kanafe inspired type of dessert it was inspired by kanafe and this was so amazing i loved it all